So my patient's name is Doug Sims. The doctor's prescription is morphine, 0.15 milligrams per kilogram every two hours. I have morphine, two milligrams per milliliter on hand. So my first step is to make sure that it's the same units of measurement in weight, and it is because they're both kilograms. My second step is to make sure the unit of me measurement for dose is the same, and it is because they're both in milligrams. Now I'm ready for my calculations. When calculating a dosage in a pediatric case, we have to correct for the weight of the patient. In this example, we have an 8-year-old who weighs 24 kilograms. The typical dosage of morphine is 0.15 milligrams per kilogram every two hours, but it is available in two milligrams per milliliter. One kilogram requires 0.15 milligrams. So if we have 24 kilograms, how many milligrams of the medication do we need? The kilograms cancels on the left side, which means our answer is going to be in milligrams. Cross multiplying, 1x equals 24 times 0 0.15. x is therefore equal to 24 times 0 0.15, which is 3.6 milligrams. We have done our first calculation. I will write the answer here. and I will make room to do the next step of the calculation. We have to calculate how many milliliters we need. Dose ordered over dose on hand times amount on hand. In this case, the dose ordered is the 3.6 milligrams. The dose on hand is the 2 milligrams. And we are multiplying by the amount on hand, which is 1 milliliter. The milligrams cancels. Our answer will be in milliliters. And 3.6 divided by 2 is 1.8. Therefore, we have to pour 1.8 milliliters of the medication for the patient. So I've washed my hands. I'm ready to prepare my medication. I need to prepare 1.8 milliliters of morphine. Take my alcohol swab to disinfect the vial. I've washed my hands. I prepare 1.8 milliliters of air to inject into the vial. I'm now withdrawing 1.8 milliliters of morphine. I'm now ready to administer my medication to the patient. So I've administered my medication. I dispose of it in the biohazard container. I wash my hands. And now I'm ready to document. June 3rd, I initial and I put my signature at the bottom of the paper.